Hi guys, Gunship here, and uh, welcome back to my legendary playthrough of Skyrim on the Xbox 360. Uh, now this isn't solitude. Um, I realised when I was making my way out of the out of this dungeon off camera uh, that the ghost guy still has one more task for us, which is to unlock that blocked door. So I thought I'd film it for you because um, I remember there's like a, um, a claw door that we need to open. So uh, you know, I thought I might as well carry on filming. Um, there he is. There's our little friend. What's it called? I can't remember. He's going to open this door for us. It's very kind of him. Okay, so I think we still have a claw in our inventory. Uh, I can't remember if it's the ivory claw, maybe? Soon find out. Yep, there it is, the ivory dragon claw. And it's a uh, bird, bird, dragon, so we'll try that. Oops. Okay, bird, bird, dragon. Oops. Okay, we must have another claw in our inventory. Because <laughs> it wasn't that one. Uh, let's have a look. I don't see another claw. Yeah, I'm sure we'd use this somewhere else. What we have is a. Oh, there it is. Oh, Ruby, I don't even remember <laughs> picking this one up. So that's a wolf, bird, wolf. Okay, fair enough. So let's try that again. At least you know it's a dart trap. <laughs> Just double check that. Cause, um, wolf, bird, wolf, yep. Yeah. So let's try it again. Just in case, I always move to the side, just in case anyone on the other side of the door. Just not like there is, sir. Okay, this looks ominous, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember this. Um, as soon as the guy pops out there, all these dudes are also going to get involved in the action. Not all of them are, uh, are bad guys there. Because some of them, as you can see, like that guy there, uh, don't have any armour. That guy does, so uh, let's get this done. Now, the good thing of doing it this way as well is you can take them one by one. You don't have to worry about you know being rushed. I just don't know I got another one just yet. So he's done. Let's get that guy because he's got armor. He's got a helmet, so. I mean, you could unshoot that one there. You can show it, you know, it doesn't, that doesn't hurt to send a, an arrow flying towards him. That's the best way, just don't cross this point here where these two pillars are. Let's wait for my stamina to come back so I can zoom again. Because obviously there's two, there's four more up there as well. But this just makes it a lot easier than being rushed by you know an army of of Draugr warriors. That one definitely looks like she's got hair. So you're going down. I think the guy next to you as well. I like to say if you're in show, it doesn't doesn't hurt to. There's one there tucked away. Uh, you would have to be a badass. Okay, okay. Oh, did I get that one there? No. Good now. Those are okay. And then here you got one, two, three, four death lords of it. Is that one over there as well? I can see some glowing eyes maybe. So that was. And this is without any kind of potions as well, which is kind of good. Yeah, don't get up. 
I love the way that the others don't aggro. So this is going to make this a lot easier. I mean, even if they do charge me, at least I've got a bit of a button neck like this guy here. You know, there's no way he's going to make it to me. Uh, just wait for my stamina to regen again. Actually, let's see if we've got one of these, any kind of stamina potions clogging up my inventory that I might use. That's poison. Poison. There we go. Speed it up a bit. Because then it just leaves us with the boss, which is a lot easier. And a word wall, thanks to the kill cam. <laughs> we know that there's a word wall. I mean, you can pretty much just make it out just there. Anyway, um, I think this is the last one. Uh oh. Incoming. Oh, and it would have to be an archer. Archeress, sorry. And that's that bit done. So, uh. Oh, it uh -oh. is time. Oh, I missed one. Okay, I missed two. But as you can see, two is a lot easier than a whole palace full of them. Arise, Olaf! My vengeance is at hand! <laughs> now, if you remember the Bard's card, that guy has a seriously deep voice. Uh, any more? No, I don't think so anyway. Olaf. Come on, Olaf, we know you can. Come, bad, do your thing. I may actually have to use a potion on this guy because it's taking forever. Uh oh. Good thing is the little spirit guy's kind of a distraction. Although it does block your arrows, which is a bit annoying. Goodbye, Olaf. So King Olaf was uh, a bit of a doof, to be honest. Where's he going now? Okay, well, let's see what he's got. King of Love's treasure key. Party on, dude. <laughs> okay, obviously that'll lead the way out. So let's get to this word wall as well. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Which one is that? Fury, whirlwind sprint. Excellent. So I think we've got all three words the whirlwind sprint now. Let's double check that. Uh, Remind me again. Shouts, here it is. That could be awesome. That would be the first one I've actually got to three, I think. Oh no, it's only the second word. Um, but let's unlock it. Because I've got 19, 18 spirits now. Uh, Dragon Souls I've not used, so. I've got all these things, but like I say, I just don't see the point in them, to be honest. So, you know. What's the point, really, of wasting the Dragon Souls? I mean, I'll probably do it at some point just for the heck, but not right now. So all that's left to do now is uh, loot the place. So let's get to it. And then obviously we're going off this way. So he's been passed. He's paid his death tax. How about these guys? Uh-oh. Oh, they moved, yeah. Uh, whatever, I'm just going to speed this up. Like this, taking everything, and then if we hit the weight level, we can just ditch some stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Etc. <laughs> yeah, definitely a good trick. You just hang out by the door and uh, snipe anyone who looks dodgy. Gonna make your life a lot easier than being rushed. Whoops, there we are. Weight down. Okay, 
right, so let's get over here to this guy. I'm just going to speed it up as well while I ditch everything. Okay, so that's that side done. Let's go quickly. Whoop, hello. Like that. Like that. And do the same on this side. Well, this time I'm going to be a bit more careful with what I'm picking up. Whoopsie. Yeah, let's go for the peasant seats. <laughs> See what they had on. Thank you. Thank you. And wasn't there two more death lords over here? Yep. That's... Mm, definitely taking that. And I think. Did we check this guy? Yeah, we did. Alrighty, so that's that. Let's go check out the uh, treasure chamber, which is just through here, supposedly. And we have a battle axe, potion, and generator of gold, not bad. A rubbishy potion, a rubbishy scroll, and two more enchanted items. So sweet, not bad. Oops. And like I say, this, this cave should wrap us round to the very beginning. And uh, those kind of tombs when we first came through. So. Yeah. Excellent. So hopefully, oops. This is the way out. Yeah, there we go. So let's get over to Solitude. Alright guys, uh, we're here in Solitude, but rather than go to the main gate, I've actually come to the Blue Palace as we actually have a mission to hand in to Sybil, the mage here. Whoops, <laughs> I thought that was a dragon then. <laughs> We've got a mission to hand in to Sybil, who's kind of the mage uh, in the court, um, because we had to clear out a vampire coven, so we might as well go do it while we're in the area. So yeah, let's go see, she's normally up here where the, the queen is, so... Uh, there she is. The courier Sibyl. must have found you. It's so good to see you again. Uh, 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 where is it? Oh, she's a destruction trainer as well. Uh, but that—that that was it. Uh, we cleared out the vampires from Pymove Cave, so give me the money. Filthy creatures, <laughs> aren't they? Living in the darkness like they do. So uncivilized. Yeah, check out your eyes. I prefer finery like this. Here for your trouble. And I suppose I should show you a little about illusion magic for free, shouldn't I? Yep, you should. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so we've got a gold ring and we've got some training, which is nice. So, um, can I actually train? I can teach you, but I won't be held responsible for what you do with the knowledge. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so she's an expert trainer, so she can take you up to your destruction up to 75. Uh, we've already trained enough for this level, so that's fine. Let's see if she's got anything else to do. No, she hasn't. Take care of Let's yourself. Let's speak to this guy. Because you mentioned. The world is ripe with shot. people looking oh. to spill your blood. Very nice. The courier must have found you. There we go. Let's see what he's got. Uh, you sent me a message about Wolf School Cave. Yes, old friend. I'm afraid it's not good news. Oh dear. When you broke up the binding, Potema escaped. We even countered some of her minions. Cute little yellow things. Excellent. Steer says she's still in spirit form, or we'd all be dead already. You've already done us a service in stopping the binding. But I need you to go talk to him, to see if Steer can tell us what to do next. Okay, that doesn't sound uh, too hard, but who is Steer? He's Solitude's priest of Arche. Okay. He's the one who figured out Potema was still around. He'll help as much as he can. Okay, and uh, why me? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Steer thinks you have some sort of link to Potema. I trust his judgment on this. As a priest of Arche, he's had to deal with necromancy before. Nothing as dangerous as Potema, though. Okay, chill out. I'll go speak to this guy. I wish you well, friend. Be careful. I usually am. Be quick. 
I have little patience for mundane concerns. Yeah, whatever. Um, okay, but should we do that now or sh no? Let's carry on with the bad college. I, I do keep doing this. I start to get distracted with quests. <laughs> it just drives me crazy. So let's see. Uh, da -da -da. Oh yeah, that was it. There's another kind of little quest we can do as well uh, while we're in solitude, which is go speak to a guy called Exgar who has um, a debt basically. Um, Octave owes him money and then feels pretty shameful about it. So uh, we can sort that out. Okay, so let's go to the bar, I think it is. I think that's where this quest is. Let's have a look. Yeah, it is. And, uh, oops, whoa, hello. <laughs> that's a bit weird. Charles House, I'm trying to remember which is. Um, Crowd Spire, which is the one you can buy. So this one, don't think so. No. Ooh. Doors open there. The news, the Emperor murdered. Really? Right here in Skyrim. By the gods. If the dark brother was to do that, nobody's. Yep, so true. Anyway, I'm Dilly Dally, as usual, so let's go find this guy. Now I don't know why it's so laggy in solitude. Oh, to lavender. Never happened to be before. I mean, I'm playing on Xbox, so I'm not quite sure why it's so damn laggy, but there you go. And we're going into the Radiant Raymonds. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Yes, okay, Gisley, no, no. Hey, dude. Unless we have specific business. I'm not interested. Fair enough, Arnie. Um, I'd like you to forgive Octave's debts. Debts are debts. Either he pays them or his kind do. Uh, he's an old man, let it go. What if I pay it? No way. <laughs> Lay off the old man now. All right, all right. <laughs> Have it your way. Tell Octave to forget about the debt. Keep your sword arm strong. Awesome, so that was easy enough. Um, let's just give the old man the good news. Now I must admit, uh, doing quests like this may seem mundane, um, but it all adds up, you know, when you want to try and get a house in each town. Because um, normally what usually happens is uh, you have to do kind of a biggish quest, and then the Yarl will also ask you to help out citizens, um, a certain number of citizens. And once you do that, they'll actually allow you to... Oh, hi guys. <laughs> Sorry about your boss and uh, the Emperor. Need something? Nope, it's all right. Don't worry. Don't mind me. Where is this guy? Okay, I'm going this way. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so that might be a problem if the gates are closed. Hopefully this one isn't as well. Good job, because this is where the uh, the wedding took place. Um, you had two options. You could shoot the, the bride from there with an arrow, or you could drop that gargoyle statue on the head. It's kind of a fun quest to be fair. Okay, there he is. That's so telling the good news. Being old's not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed, and my working days are done. Okay, well, Inkscar agreed to forgive your debts. You've done a fine thing for me. I know. You know, I used to be quite a warrior in my day. So you took an hour. Let me you. show you a thing or two. You should speak to my daughter, Yvette. She's the brave. Okay, well, that's that's taken care of. Um, but unfortunately, we've also run out of time. I think for this episode. It's kind of a useful place because you've got quite a lot of different um, shrines here. So you can just pick, you know, the one that you want, which is kind of cool. I think that's the one where um, Talos should be, but obviously Solitude being the Imperial capital, you're not going to find it. Uh, and yeah, guys, I'm going to call the episode here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, we're just trying to clear out um, the miscellaneous quests a little bit. As you can see, we've, we've finally got them down to one screen, which is quite nice. Uh, speak to Lod, that's a Daedric quest. We'll do that at some point as well. Um, and yeah, coming up on the next episode, like I said, we're just going to push on with the... Um, where's it gone? Taming the Flames um, for the Bard's College. And hopefully throw ourselves a little party. For now, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Take care. And above all, peace.